Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to use a displacement map to wrap text, logos, or pretty much anything else around objects, hugging every contour of the object. It may not be perfect, but it does a great job doing the heavy lifting. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. The first step is to open the channels panel and click on each channel to see which one has the most contrast. This is the red channel, here's the green, and this is the blue. I think for this image green has the most contrast. So I'll click on the icon in the upper right and click duplicate channel. The duplicate channel window will open. I'll click on document and rename it satin displacement. I'll click back on the layers panel and then go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. I'll blur this by one pixel. We'll save it now so go to file, save as, and choose a place you can find it easily. I'll save it to my desktop. Make sure you save it as a Photoshop PSD document and then press save. We'll close our displacement PSD document and open the channels panel on our original fabric file to change the channels back to RGB. Click back on the layers tab. Click on the character text box and choose your font. I'm choosing a font called Franklin Gothic Medium. Click on the color box and choose white. Then click on your document and type out your words. To reposition your words, call up your move tool or press the letter V. Click anywhere on your type and move it into position. If you want to angle it, press Ctrl or Command T to call up your transform tool and go to a corner. When you see a double curved arrow, drag it clockwise or counterclockwise to rotate the transform on its axis. To lock in the position, press Enter or Return. Let's close the text box. Go to Filter, Distort, and Displace. When this window opens, press OK. The Displace window opens with this default setting, which is fine for our example, so click OK. A window opens asking us to locate our Displacement PSD file. Since I saved it on my desktop, I'll click on the Displacement file and click Open. Our Displacement PSD file immediately distorted the shape of our text. Now we need to blend it into our fabric. We'll change the blending mode from Normal to Overlay. It looks great just as it is now, but let's finesse it a little bit more so it ends up looking like this. Press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of the text and click on the bottom text to change the opacity to 30%. Click on the base layer and press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy. Click on the copy and drag it to the top. We'll change the blending mode from Normal to Multiply. And lastly, we'll reduce the opacity to 50%. So here is our final text wrapped around the various hills and valleys of the fabric. With the displacement map, use faces, clothing, even landscapes to wrap anything around their contours. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.